what up everybody so on today's video i am going to explain to you guys how to get paid on youtube yes everybody can do it i'm here to show you what those steps are what you need to do so you can get paid if you are new to my channel welcome my name is ashley i am a makeup artist and a beauty influencer i get asked how i grew my youtube and how i started to get paid all the time so i was like why not show you guys that's what i'm here for if you do want to support your girl and make sure i get everything i can and all my coins please watch the videos from beginning to end don't fast forward and don't drop off but i get it life happens sometimes you got to end the video because your kids are screaming chaos everywhere you're driving or you're working I would recommend if you really want to support YouTubers and you really are their support system, wait until you're in a quiet area, you're not going to be interrupted, and really watch the video. Give them your full dedication because, again, if you want to do this for a living, you would want your subscribers to do that for you too. So keep that in mind. Um, you do get what you give. And that's how I believe the world works. So if you want to see how I got monetized and how I get paid on YouTube, please follow along. So if you do not already have a YouTube channel, I recommend you going and starting a channel. Just make sure you fill it out appropriately and what you want your YouTube to consist of and the content. Upload at least three times a week consistently you are not uploading consistently you are not going to grow as a channel nobody is going to know who you are you're not going to be popping up on the feeds you're not going to be searched you need to consistently be posting when i tell you to upload consistently there is a reason for that for you to be able to get paid through YouTube, there are some requirements that you have to go through before they monetize your channel. The requirements are you need 1,000 subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours. So my tip to you guys is upload at least three times a week, more than 10 minute videos. The longer the video, the more watch time you will receive. So the faster you will get to that 4,000 watch hours. You have to keep it in mind that if you're not going to be consistent on YouTube, you are not going to hit those marks. It's going to be very hard for you. Not that it's impossible, just very hard. So your content is very important you need to make sure you are guided in the audience that you are looking for you need to stay zoned in and you need to make sure you target an audience that will bring in those views so if you want a youtube channel that's about puppies about dogs about animals stick to that content i would look up other youtube videos that are in the same content See what they do, compare, just do your research. YouTube is all about researching, finding out what is going on, what other people do that are successful for them. Also, if you do take something from somebody else's video, please give them the credit for it in your video. It's just the common courtesy. It's not hard to do. Tag them in it, give them a shout out, let them know. So then that way, maybe they'll see it and they'll wanna collaborate with you, you don't know. So don't miss that opportunity either. Be original, but also be fair. Once you get to those 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will send you a email letting you know that your YouTube channel is now in review. And if you get approved, you will then be monetized. Before you're monetized, there are other steps you can do to help make the process a lot faster for you. So the first thing after you start your YouTube channel is you also want to make a Google AdSense account. Not hard, but you do need to do it. And for some reason, people don't tell you these things because your girl was searching everywhere for it. Also, I do recommend for you to gain subscribers is to have other social media platforms. For me, 
I had Facebook and Instagram, which I had already had a following on to help drive them over to my YouTube channel. Keep in mind, let me advise you, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my YouTube all have different numbers. So my Instagram, I have 15,000 plus subscribers. My Facebook, I think I have 8,000 subscribers. And my YouTube, I think it's like at 3,000. So each platform is for different audiences. My Facebook, I go live on and I do makeup lives. My Instagram is more for blogging and posting and outfits of the days and then just stories and then YouTube's obviously are for my how-to's. So just depending on the audience, each it depends on who wants to follow what. I was able to post on all social media for everybody to go and support my YouTube channel so I can gain those hours fast. So that is one idea and how I was able to achieve it. Again, you don't need to do that. If you just want to upload YouTube videos and just work on YouTube, as long as you're consistent, I promise you, you will get there. You need to also make sure you have good quality videos. Not that it's necessary in the beginning, it's eventually something you want to strive for. So if you can get a good camera in the beginning, you know what I did? I used my iPhone, but I used the back camera. Um, if you want, if you look in the selfie camera, it's not as good quality, but an iPhone, the, the back camera is amazing. You don't need a good camera if you don't have the money and you already have an iPhone. Perfect. Uh, I do recommend setting up in a good environment in a good space where you're by yourself. You don't have a lot of noise. Great light in front of a window right now. It is it's a 1:53 in the afternoon so the lighting is perfect but it's set up in a nice good window that has a natural lighting you know you don't need to have a perfect background just make sure it's neat and nice and something that people are not going to be pinpointing anything around you know you know what i mean right okay for good quality videos make sure they're good quality that is going to be key as well also, make sure you learn how to edit a video. iMovie, Final Cut Pro, they have a bunch of other ads or apps that you can use to edit videos. It doesn't need to be all these pop-ups and all these emojis and all this stuff in your video. It can be a nice um, edited video where, you know, you can just cut through things, keep people's attention there. Nothing, nothing too major. Also, make sure the noise is not distracting. You don't want a lot of noise in the background. Other noises in the background will distract and go from there. Would like me to show you how to shoot with an iPhone and how to set everything up for a good quality video, please let me know in the comments below. I will definitely put a video together for you just in case because I don't have one and I don't know how many people would want to see that. But if you would like to see that, please comment below and I will do one for you. I would say the best way to build a YouTube channel is be yourself. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about doing everybody else's trends, what's new, what's going on. Be you, do things that people want to see from you. That's the whole purpose. People follow YouTube channels for the people and the personalities on that channel. Whatever you bring to your channel, shine in it. Whatever it is, shine in it. Don't be scared. The best advice I could give somebody is when you're looking into this camera or your phone or whatever it is, Look at it like if you were really talking to somebody. Just ignore that it's a camera, ignore it's a phone, ignore everything, and actually interact with people that are behind it. Know that people are actually watching you. You want to know that deep down inside because it will show. Everybody that is on video or on camera, if they're awkward or they feel some type of way or they're just not ready, the audience can see it and that right there alone will shy people away. Confident in what you're doing, be confident in your content, connect with people, connect with them because that is really going to bring your audience in and that's gonna make them feel like you guys are actually having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So please, 
if you're not ready to do that and you're not comfortable work on that before you start your channel i promise you it will take your game a thousand percent all right so moving on to the google adsense account you do not need to have the 1000 subscribers or the 4000 watch hours to set up this account if you do this before you get approved you will be able to get approved a lot faster and it will not stop the process so i recommend at the same time that you're setting up your youtube account things going go to www.googleadsense.com and fill out the application you just need your name your email your phone number, your address, how you want to get paid, or you know what, I don't even think they allow you to do that yet until you get approved. Um, but you do need your social and all that stuff. So make sure you have all of that set up before you get approved with your 4,000 watch hours and your 1,000 subscribers so you get that out of the way and you don't need to worry about it. Once you do get approved and you hit those marks, there's one thing nobody told me about until I got approved. There's also a $100 threshold before YouTube will send you your money. On top of the 1,000 subscribers, the 4,000 watch hours, and setting up your Google AdSense account, you also have to reach $100 before they will send it to you. Google will not send you anything even if you are a penny away. They will actually hold on to it until the next month and then send you whatever you accumulated from that point and then the second point. So just know there is more than two things. You need three things to actually get your money to you. I also tell people if you were under the age of 18, you will need your parent to help you set everything up. You do have to fill out a W-2. You are self-employed. You do have to pay your own taxes at the end of the year. So be prepared for that and just know, get a tax person. If you are under the age of 18 or you know nothing about this, please talk to somebody because you don't want to at the end of the year be blindsided with now you owe so much money in taxes and you were not prepared for it so that's just a little adult fyi for you guys you are self-employed if you end up making good money on youtube don't screw yourself please prepare for the just future. know in the beginning it is going to take time for you to start building that view and the money you get paid per ad on youtube and the ads pay you per thousand view it's really hard to explain and believe me i don't know very much about it but with the research and the information i've received it's a lot and it's going to take trial and error for you guys to even understand just know it's not going to be right away that you start to get millions or thousands of dollars because we ain't got million views yet so if you want more info on the pay rates on your channel once you've been monetized you are going to want to go into analytics and you're going to look up your cpm your cpm is how much google ads pays you per 1000 view on a video there is a fluctuation it does depend on where your viewers come from the age range if they're skipping through your videos that oh my god there's so much in it that it would take me hours to explain to you how google breaks down your cpm each ad as well is paid differently so once you get monetized you are going to want to do so much research to make sure you are getting the full pay out of youtube because there are so many ways to get paid through youtube and through ads and the different ads so yes the money is there yes they don't tell you how to make it it is something you have to research a lot on it is going to be hard and you are going to definitely go through up the ups and downs of oh my god i can't do it should i really be doing this this is too hard i'm not moving fast enough be patient with it do it out of love and fun don't do it because you're trying to get rich quick because that is not going to work i want to explain to you guys these youtubers 
put in a lot of time and effort to be to do these videos for you it takes a lot youtube also analyzes when and how followers watch your video so if you guys really want to know how to support your youtubers and what is going to help them so much more you need to watch the video from beginning to end do not click off the video and do not forward through the video youtube does drop your numbers if your followers are fast forwarding the video or if they stop in the middle and then come back later or if as soon as your outro is done they fall off on your outro because they don't want to watch your outro or your intro so keep that in mind that how you set up your video and how you keep your audience retention on the video does matter as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's just a little how-to of how i got started i am going to go ahead and keep doing these videos for you and if you have any other questions or any other videos that you want me to post about how to or my journey on youtube please comment below i would love to do more videos for you so I love you guys. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.